Hello and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. This is another home edition. When I'm home, what I eat. Before we move into this video, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my plant-based inspiration. I started my Saturday off with my beautiful, yummy coffee replacement concoction. Many of you have commented on this. I wanted to show you all the ingredients that I use. I use cacao, matcha, some black pepper, cayenne, and some turmeric. This is actually Sunday. I think I just said it was Saturday. So whoops, this is Sunday. And here is my milk, my organic oat milk powder. This is great for those of you that follow the Start Solution. Joy uh, oat milk powder is like one gram of fat versus your typical five to seven grams of fat in regular oat milk. And um, this is literally just one gram of fat. Like how cool is that? Like so great if you are watching your fat content. So mixing all that together and it makes a beautiful concoction. Next, we are going to be doing a mug cake made out of black beans. I've made this in the past. I wanted to make it again. It's literally so good and it's made with weight loss friendly ingredients. I'm using some earth chimp organic vegan protein powder as my chocolate instead of the cocoa powder, some whole wheat flour, and there is some baking powder and things in it as well. I will leave the full recipe below so you can try it out. We made a double serving of this. You just blend it up and then put it all in a microwave safe dish, spread it out. It's a very thick consistency. And my blender is not a high speed, at least the blender that I'm using is not a high speed blender. So. So yeah, next I um, put some no salt added organic green beans over the stove. Just gonna heat those up. And meanwhile, I'll be making some icing for Berkeley's slice of cake. So I'm gonna share the bean mug cake with her for breakfast. So I'm using this Forager Project plain cashew milk yogurt. We love them. A little bit of cacao and the last little bit of maple syrup that I have. And it's gonna, it ends up being really, really, yummy and so i microwaved it in the bowl and i'm just cutting a slice after letting it cool putting it on the plate i just love this mug cake so much um and it's so good for you it's got all the good stuff in it so i just whisk, whisk together the mixture now we love forager project they have so many good healthy probiotics mixed into their yogurt and i'm a big fan of the plain especially um because you can do so much with it you can do something with all their flavors they've got so many different types of flavors but the plain is great because you can use it in literally anything doesn't that look so divine so pretty literally cake made out of beans like how cool is that <laughs> so here is miss berkeley's and then here's my plate. I had the other half of the cake, a little more than half, my green beans and my apple. And it was a very lovely combo. I'm still doing veggies in the morning for breakfast. That's what I've been doing to lower the calorie, dense, calorie density of my meals. I even had a little bit more of the cake left because I, like I said, I made a double serving. So I packed this for Berkeley's breakfast for Monday. So she's got that for so she'll be able to have it at the babysitters. I'm gonna batch cook some sweet potatoes in the meantime. I wanted to do this, that way I would just have some handy, they make great snacks, and I wanted to be able to have them for my work week since it is a Sunday, it's nice to batch cook a little bit just to have some things prepared. And you guessed it, time to cut up some broccoli. I have got some lovely, beautiful crowns of broccoli here that I'm going to chop up so I can steam it. I found that a good 10 minutes is a good steaming time. I don't know what happened to my steamer basket. It just like disappeared. And so what I've been doing is a large pot with um, a little bit of water. By the way, look at my beautiful shirt, Powered by Plants. I'll leave a link to this below if you wanna check one out. You can find it, um, I believe this is from, yeah, it's from Amazon, so I'll just leave you that link so you can click on it, check it out. There's all the different colors, and isn't it beautiful? Hippie tie-dye, but also Powered by Plants, so you already know it's good to share the message with others, and what better way than to advertise it by your shirt? <laughs> So getting ready to, I always use this little tray that the, you know, it's a shame it has so much plastic. These, I get these broccoli heads from Aldi and they come just covered in plastic and I wish that wasn't the case, but I use it as a little tray um, to transport my, or to transfer my uh, broccoli from the table to 
the uh, when I go to steam it. And here's my sweet potatoes all fresh out of the oven. So caramelized and beautiful and yummy. They just smelt amazing. Gosh, I love me some sweet potatoes. Later, I'm eating an apple while Berkeley's taking a bath. These apples, I got a good batch of apples here. I made me another nice afternoon concoction. It's just ashwagandha and some oat milk with my cacao. And yeah, I've been snacking on the sweet potatoes as well as the broccoli. So even though I thought I was making these for my week, I was snacking on them. But what better things to snack on than veggies and potatoes? So I'm winning. Um, and I'm going to make some of my mac and cheese that Berkeley really loves, that I love too. It's with that bean cheese sauce that I've shared with you guys in previous um, videos. And I will link the recipe to that so you guys can try it. I always get so many people asking about this. If you don't follow me on Instagram, that is an awesome way for me to share recipes. I'm always sharing recipes that I eat myself. I share meal um, meal pictures every single day. So this cheese sauce just has nutritional yeast, oat milk, um, some pink salt. You don't have to use pink salt. Look how I spilled that everywhere. Oh my gosh. Um, it's got some rice vinegar, some garlic, and uh, cannellini beans. And so um, you just blend it up and it makes this beautiful cheese sauce and then pour it over your noodles of choice. Of course, I'm using only, these are quinoa noodles, I believe, brown rice noodles, quinoa noodles, something like that. Um, but yeah, just made from one ingredient or from whole grains, nothing added but the actual thing that it's made out of. See, I've still got my noodles all over the stove that I literally spilled everywhere. Like, I always do that. I make such a mess, but that's okay. That's what kitchens are for, right? And everything is good to go here. Loading up my plate with some beautiful broccoli. I just don't get tired of it. And then there's those times where it just, sometimes it tastes even better than the time that you had it before. And those times it's like, I love, I live for those times. The times where you've got like the best flavoring ever in your food. It's always good when it's in season as well. Then the flavors are even more enjoyable. I always try to eat in season or incorporate seasonal foods into my always into my day that happens every day no matter what um, and so I'm just plating up that mac and cheese it's so nice and hot and creamy and to know that I'm eating cheese sauce that's made out of beans there's no added fats or anything now for Berkeley I've added flax in the past when I'm serving this to Berkeley or I'll have her a smoothie with it so she's got added fat to go with whatever she's eating but for me this is just perfect and it's uh just so tasty you got to try it out later on i was snacking on applesauce i love to keep some organic no other ingredients added into the applesauce it's just applesauce and i love to snack on that throughout the day it satisfies little sweet cravings and here are my um, sweet potatoes that i've packed into this little container i'm showing you what i'm packing for lunch for lunch and breakfast for what will be monday so i've got all my fruit my beautiful organic apples an orange and a banana i love to keep a variety of fresh fruit got my green beans gotta do my green beans they are so easy and i have found that they're just i love the way that they're just quick and i gotta make sure i bring my can opener because one day i didn't bring my can opener i literally had no veggies it was terrible um and i have my blender soup if you saw the episode uh, episode if you saw the video a few weeks back i made some blender soup and it was so good and so i made uh, some more again on this friday and so i had a little bit of that that i was eating on and i'm going to bring the rest to work and i've been snacking on leftover mac and cheese noodles had me a banana as well these were not that ripe but we love bananas so much in my house berkeley and i we just eat them it's so hard to wait for them to get ripe and it's it's just we just eat them no matter what <laughs> and i'm making my last nighttime drink a little concoction looks very similar as the other ones you've seen me make this one has turmeric black pepper and cacao and um, I'm using soy milk for this one and a little bit of a sugar replacement. It's a zero calorie sugar replacement that doesn't have anything harmful in it. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Swerve. And I just whisk it together and I love having this before bed. It literally like my, it just, it's calming. Um, it's, it's like a nighttime ritual for me and it is a nighttime ritual for me. It tastes so good and I believe that it soothes my nervous system. You know, a, a warm, calming beverage does 
wonders for you. So I, I love doing that at nighttime and it's made with all yummy stuff. So thank you for making it all the way through my video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Give this video a like if you made it through. If you want to support my channel further, you can always go to buymeacoffee.com. I upload every Friday and Monday and I'm so grateful that you are here. If there's ever anything that you'd like me to do video wise, be sure to let me know. I'd be happy to have yourself a great week and thanks for being here.